Hello everybody. I'm very happy to be here with Sophie Labandibar, who is my pianist in the Conservatory National Superior de Musique de Lyon. And today we're going to speak about Carmen, one of the best solo flutes we have in the orchestra. Um, in terms of tempo, I think it's very important to, to look what is written. Allegretto, quasi andantino. So it's not too slow, but it's not too fast. I would say the best way is to think in two. Let's do the beginning. So now, what is the other problem we have? The other problem is to start with the E flat, because it's a very difficult note. The E flat can be really flat, actually, because it's called an E flat, and it can be really flat. And in some flutes, it can be even more flat. Right? Okay, so if I am with my air, with my good breath, with my air, that's the best way to shape naturally. Um, there's nothing more complicated to play uh, sentimental. The difference between the beginning when you play forte or mezzo forte and the bar number 13 when you play piano is the quantity of air which changes in the piano. It's less quantity in the piano, but the air in the piano has to be faster, right? So let's take actually um, bar number 13 again, okay? Um, as I say, sentimental and expressive. Very important thing is that use the rhythm for what it is. For example, we have this triplet here at the very beginning on bar number four, for example. And I think it's very dangerous to Maybe make it with doing this rhythm wrong, okay? So play the triplet the most natural and the simplest as possible. <laughs> 